There we are. Hello, guys. At the moment, I have to use Windows Game Bar because um, Shadowplay doesn't like working with HitFilm at the moment. So, what you want? To, this is HitFilm. This is what I use to do my editing. So, what you want to do is click the Start Editing and hit Import Media. And this is where I'll I keep all my mass folder storage and all that. And I already have a hit film tutorial video all set up. This is my Starbound video from a while ago. Yes, it has little black bars. Yes, I realize that. I didn't get around to fixing that. But what you do is you plonk that in. You say no to this. Do not let do not say yes. If you say yes, things like my last video happened. Will happen. Uh oh. Oh well. So I. Th anyway, things like my last video will happen, and which was just nothing. It was just like the first frame of the footage, and that stretched over six minutes, and things break, and I hate it, and. This is really unintuitive, but it's really, really powerful, much more powerful than what I was using before. So basically what you do is you do the import and then import anything else. So what I'm going to do is uh, music. Uh, this. Plunk that in. And it has to be a WAV file, so what I would recommend doing is using like Audacity this thing to transfer it into a WAV file. This is this, this basically just making a music video almost. Then you plonk that in there, hit the speed slash duration cancel on this. This will just cut the length to that and then do that. So that's how you get like just this. I'll play a quick <coughs> clip of it. It might be a bit loud. I apologize. I'm not talking that loud, I don't think. So, yes, let's do that. I'll press play. <laughs> so, it just has that and has the video on it. And if you have this, you can do that. Have that in the background and then just have, have my recording setting. So, if I'm really quiet, forgive me. Um, so, that's part of that. And so one way that I showed was just having this and then doing that and you can just stretch it out, shrink it, whatever shows where it cut off. But if you want to like time lapse it, you right click speed duration, then either type in how long you want to let's say I want the entire thing to be thirty seconds. So zero zero that zero zero that thirty and click OK. I think that didn't work. Yeah. So what you want to do? Thirty seconds and hit that zero. Be at six hundred. That and press. Play. Hit that, hit that, because it's more interesting. And then press play. It just ma makes everything move much faster than it normally would. Um, I'm still working out, out all the kinks. As you can see, with my some of my videos, I've messed up with the editing because, again, you can make stupid mistakes. Like, I had to transfer this to 1080p resolution so the little screen is shrunk down a bit. So that's why there's the black bars. But I'm usually okay, and sometimes I can have, like, my end slate and all of that wonderful stuff. So this will be... As I learn, I'll do more of this, but and this is all I'm going to show at the moment, so I'm just going to be like, this is how you like manipulate times and add like music and whatnot. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all that great stuff. Have a good day, guys. Bye.